you know, he showed a lot to me at the at the SEC meet because, you know, again, uh, we're in the in mix for that title. We knew it was going to be close. He was not 100% at the time, and we gave him that option. Hey, we don't want to risk that that final uh, uh, national championship if we do if something happens. And um, he goes, Coach, I'm not sitting it out. I'm competing. Put me on a short approach. I'm going to go get some points. I might not be able to get the points that that um, uh, if I have full strength I could get, but I'm going to get some points. And what a, what a heck of an example of a guy that's, that's not only talented, but plays a little hurt. I, I knew it was going to be a close championship and the team needed points. And I knew even with, with, with a 50% climb, I still could have scored. Um, the, the coaching staff was beyond proud of, of, of the result. I mean, I, I felt as if I could give him probably one or two more jumps and even win the competition of, of being, you know, 50%. But at the end of the day, you know, I, I'm a person who likes to, to follow instructions and coaches were like, you, you gave more than what they expected and, and they wanted to save me for, for the bigger meets. He's been to the Super Bowl. He's been to the Olympics. He's, he's been to the Super Bowl. And, and, and then I use the analogy of you go to the Super Bowl and then you come back to your college team. You know, that's, that's uh, you've seen it at its, at its highest level. And, and yet he seems more committed than ever to finishing off and, and being a, uh, doing what he can to, to help the Razorbacks and help his, help his college team. So it's pretty cool. It, it, it kind of means nothing really when you don't have an outdoor title. I've had an outdoor SEC title and um, could have had one again with me being healthy this year, but you know, that again is in the past and I'm just really looking forward to cap it off with, with an outdoor national title too. This year is my last, it's my last NCAA, it's my last outing as a Razorback and, and I want to make it something special and I'm just really happy that I'm back healthy at the right time and I'm feeling good, I'm feeling great. So. Absolutely, I have no intentions of leaving here. I mean, uh, he took me from, you know, the elementary stages um, as a junior on the world, world stage, and now he has made me into an elite athlete, so there's no reason for me to leave. Life is good here in Fayetteville.